five, four, three, two, one. Hi everyone, I will explain to you guys about Life Cycle Analysis, LCA, for Nokia Lumia. First of all, what is Life Cycle? Life Cycle Analysis, also known as Life Cycle Assessment, Eco Balance, and Cradle to Grave Analysis. As example, from raw material extraction to material processing, manufacture, distribution, use, repair and maintenance, and disposal or recycling. Before we go any further, I would like to give a picture of Nokia Lumia. Lumia is a line of smartphones and tablet computers that have been designed and marketed by Nokia. It was introduced in November 2011 as a result of a long-term partnership between Nokia and Microsoft. Windows Phone is the operating system for all Lumia smartphones aiming to compete against iPhone and Android. Why do we use LCA? LCA used to evaluate the potential environmental impact of a product system. LCA can help to avoid a narrow outlook on environmental concern by complying and inventory of relevant energy and materials input and environmental release. Evaluating the potential impacts associated with identified inputs and release and interpreting the results to help make a more informed decision. Nokia purpose is to update the understanding of the key environmental burdens of a mobile phone during its life cycle. Do you know that? According to research by United Nations University, Tokyo, more than 90% of the waste in the life cycle of a mobile phone is generated at the raw material stage. Manufacturing just one 32 megabyte RAM module requires 32 kg of water, 1.6 kg of fossil fuels, 700 g of gases, and up to 72 g different chemicals. Thus, product life cycle analysis is vital for the sake of our environment and future. Assessing design in terms of their environmental impact can be complex. There may be cases where one option is better in terms of resource use while another has a better emission profile. Assessing products from a life cycle point of view can be difficult given the wide range of possible impacts, both positive and negative. For example, if plastic is recycled, the process eliminates the negative impacts associated with oil extraction and refining as well as the manufacture of virgin polymers. At the same time, Recycling process can have negative impacts, in this case relating particularly to the collection of the bulky materials and polymer separation and processing. There are six stages in product life cycle. Stage 1. Raw Materials Example of processes in stage 1 are mining metal ore and smelting into metal alloys, pumping oil and cracking into fuel to make plastics, refining sand into glass and semiconductors, 
and cutting trees and processing them into wood or paper. Stage 2. Manufacture, parts, formation and assembly. In this process, the process involves such as transforming materials into part via mold or two, combining parts into sub-assemblies, combining sub-assemblies into products, packing products for distribution, all of them include in stage 2. Stage 3. Purchasing from shelf to users. In this stage, the product is exposed to retail outlet where information about product being advertised. Stage 4. Use consumption of product. During this stage, the product will be used by the consumer whereby maintenance and repair of product involved. Stage 5. Disposal. Collecting and moving the used product. The consumer use the collection system whereby the collectors decide whether the product is reusable, recyclable or disposable. Lastly, Stage 6. Disposal, Reuse, Recycling and Disposal, Sorting and Processing. This is the end of life of the product. In this stage, if reusable, the product is serviced, repackaged and redistributed. If recyclable, the product is disassembled, recyclable, components are sent to recycling centers and non-recyclable components treat as disposal. If none of this apply, the product is landfill or incinerate. As the conclusion, the most effective way to reduce the impact on the environment is to integrate the environmental considerations into product development process. To do this, designers must consider the environmental impact of materials, energy, and toxicity across an e-product's entire life cycle. We get it almost every night When there are 